Hi, so in this video we're going to do a little bit of factorization and then solve a quadratic equation by factorizing as well. So it says, factorize completely 3ab minus 6b minus 12a plus 24. So looking at this, there's no one common factor apart from taking out a 3, but there's no other common factor. So what we'll do is we'll use factorizing, factorization by grouping. So we'll group the first two terms together. Look for a common factor. So there's a 3 and there is a b. So we take out 3b and we're left here with just an a. And here we're just left with a 2. Just to check that, 3ab, 6b. That gives me about that. Bring down that minus sign. And then group these two together. It's a common factor of 12. So minus 12. Now when we put brackets in, the sign in between now becomes a minus. Notice here and here we've got the same thing. So that can now come out as a common factor. So we go a minus 2 times bracket 3b minus 12. Now there is a common factor of 3 here. So we're going to take that out because it says factorise completely. So we'll take that out as well. So we're going to have 3 brackets a minus 2. And then we're just going to have b minus 4. Second one, 25a squared minus 36. Now, you might recognize this is the type a squared minus b squared, and you should know that that factorizes down to a plus b, a minus b. So you need to know this for IGCSE. Right, so a squared will be 25a squared, but we want to find a for this, so just take the square root of that. Square root of 25 is 5, square root of a squared is a, so we get a is equal to 5a. Similarly, b squared is 36, and if we take the square root of that, b is 6. So we now substitute in here. We get 5a, for a, plus b, which is 6, and then 5a again, and minus 6. Therefore, we're now done. The final thing is to solve 5x squared plus 23x minus 10 is equal to 0. Uh, because this is not 1x squared, it's probably better to use this method. The product is all going to be 5 times minus 10, which gives me minus 50. And the sum is the middle number, which gives you 23. And the factors of that are going to be, now you want two numbers, when you multiply you get minus 50, and when you add the same number you get 23. So that's going to obviously be something like 2 and 25. One will have to be negative and one will have to be positive. So let's try minus 225. A little check will show that the product, in this case, minus 2 times 25 does, in fact, give me minus 50, so that's OK. And then if I sum them together, minus 2 plus 25 also gives me plus 23. So you need to be careful with the signs here when you do this. Then you write down the quadratic equation as 5x squared, and you split the middle term up into minus 2x plus 25x, and then there's minus 10 is equal to 0. Doesn't matter which way round you write these two. Right, so going over here, you then do what's known as factorizing by grouping, what we've already done once already in this video. Group these two together, there's a common factor of x, and we're going to get in the bracket 5x minus 2. Bring down the plus sign, group these two together, and the common factor of 5. And again, we're going to get 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. So if you've done this procedure correctly, here and here, you should always end up with the same thing. So they, therefore, are common factors and can, can come out. So we get 5x, brackets, x minus plus 5 is equal to 0. So if this, these two are equal to 0, multiplied together, either that's 0 or this is 0. So either, take this one first, x plus 5 is equal to 0, so that gives x is minus 5. Or 5x minus 2 is equal to 0, which gives 5x is equal to 2. x is equal to 2 over 5. And therefore we end up with x is equal to minus 5, or x is equal to 2 over 5. So it's been a video about uh, factorising by grouping, factorising using the idea of difference of two squares, and then solving a quadratic equation where, a factorisation where a is, is actually 5. I hope you've understood this video and I thank you very much for watching.